All right, so ladies and gentlemen, when we're going through a problem like this, anytime you guys are adding um, fractions, just a quick little review. If you have um, 3 halves plus 5 halves, all right, remember, as long as the fraction, and this is going to be true for adding or subtracting, so I'm not going to go for, through both of them. But remember, whenever you're adding fractions, as long as the denominator is the same, we just combine our numerator. And that would be the exact same with subtracting, all right? Um, please just remember, ladies and gentlemen, you have to simplify your fraction. 8 divided by 2 is reduced down to 4, OK? Now, in this case, we have a mixed number added to a fraction. So the first thing we need to do is convert our mixed number into a fraction. So to do that, we multiply our denominator times our whole number, and then add that to our numerator. So my improper fraction would now be 2 times 3, which is 6, plus 1 is 7. So I have 7 thirds plus 1 fourth. But now they do, not have common, they do not have common denominators. So I can't just add 7 and 1. I have to get common denominators. So to do that, we need to determine what is the least common denominator. Now, the foolproof method to do this, if you can't do it in your head, is just list the multiples of each denominator. 3, 6, 9, 12, 15, 18, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20, 24. And we want to find the smallest number that they both share, which you guys hopefully can see is 12, right? So that means we want to get our answer is going to have a denominator of 12. But before we can do that, we need to make sure we have common denominators. So I need to see what do I need to multiply 3 to get to 12. Well, that will be 4. And since I need to produce equivalent fractions, I'm going to multiply by 4 over 4. For 3, I need to multiply by 3 over 3. And then as we go through, just like we multiply fractions, we multiply straight across. So therefore, I have 28 over 12 plus 3 over 12. Add those up, 28 plus 3, since they have the same denominator, I can now combine their numerators. 28 plus 3 is 31 over 12. This would be the exact same if you were subtracting, except instead of adding, you'd just be subtracting the numerators. Make sense? Nope, just leave it as improper. That's the way I like it.